In a nutshell, this is how it works. The sensor chip is built on a piece of silicon, the same type of silicon chip that computer processors are made on, except that in this case the feature size is a lot bigger than what's demanded inside computers, so this can actually be manufactured quite a bit cheaper for the same silicon area. On top of the sensor chip is a sensor array, just a bunch of little pieces of metal. On top of the sensor array is a piece of hard protective glass, and on top of the protective glass slides your finger. Your finger is presumed to have ground potential because it is also touching the pieces of metal at the edges of the sensor. As your finger slides along, your fingerprint's valleys and ridges come into contact with the glass. When charge is applied to the sensor plates, then an electric field propagates to those ridges and valleys. The distance that those field lines have to go through is obviously different from one sensor to another, depending on whether it is covered by a ridge or a valley. Additionally, field lines that terminate into a valley must travel through a distance of air. And air has a particularly low permittivity or dielectric constant than the glass, and therefore the capacitance of this plate, which is covered by a valley, is a little bit lower than the capacitance of this plate, which is covered by a ridge. All that the sensor chip needs to know is whether there's a ridge or a valley 